Convert class and the parse method both are very much helpful to convert the data from one type to another and we have covered both of them in the previous video. Now in this video we will talk about one more situation of converting data from one type to another. So here let's assume that I'm having one data in form of a string and it is a and here I'm having some value which is 100 right. Now if I want to convert this value to integer which is b then I can simply use either convert dot to int method or I can also use int dot parse method. Let's try both of them actually over here like this right and if I will display the value over here in this console screen then this will work. We have already covered these things in the previous video. I can also use int dot parse method but we can never believe on the data and let's assume that there is some problem in this data and here I'm having one a. It means this is not a proper integer number or simply a numerical number. Now if I will try to convert this value to this integer b by using this convert dot to int method let's see what will happen. You can notice we are getting the error and it is saying the input string was not in a correct format right. Let's try int dot parse method. And run this application again in the debug mode. Again you will see we are getting this same error. What is the way to fix this kind of problem? There is one more method in C sharp programming language which is called as try parse. Just like we are having this parse for all the types, we also have one try parse. So here instead of using this parse, this time I will use this try parse. Now in this try parse method we have to pass two things. First is we have to pass this input string which is a and in the second parameter we have to pass something called as out parameter. So we have to write an out keyword over here. This out is something that we have not covered so far in this course. We will cover this concept while we will talk about methods and classes in CSR programming language. So here I am going to use this out and let's define the type int and here I am writing this c. If I will hover my mouse over here on this try parse method then you can notice the return type of this method is this boolean. So instead of having this int b I can simply use bool result over here. You can give any meaningful name at this particular place right. And basically the concept is that if the conversion is possible. So basically the concept is that if the conversion of this value to the integer type is possible then we will get the true value over here and the actual converted value will be available in this c. If the conversion is not possible for example this case then we will get a false value over here and in that case we will only get the default value over here in this c variable. Let's try that. So what I'm writing over here is if the conversion is possible then I will display one message over here that value converted and the value is let's say it is c right else this if and else is a concept that we will cover in some upcoming videos but it works like that if this particular condition is true then this part will be executed otherwise this one will be executed. It means if the conversion is possible in that case this will be true so this part will work otherwise when the conversion will not be possible this particular part will work right. So let's just copy it and paste it again and here I am writing conversion is not possible. Let's just run this application. This time you can notice we are getting the error it is saying conversion is not possible. But if I will try to remove this a from here this time the conversion must work. Let's run this application and we are getting the actual converted value which is 100 over here. And if you will try to find out the type of the c value then you can notice it is integer over here. If you do not want to define your variable over here then you can also use the predefined variable at this place. For example I am having this integer c over here like this and I want to define it over here then I do not have to write this int keyword again right. I can simply use this predefined integer type at this place. This is how we can use this try parse method. Remember this try parse method is available for almost all the types. For example if here I am passing this true and I want to convert it to the boolean right. So this time let's use the bool value over here. Let's run this application. We are getting value is converted to true but if I am having something else which is a over here and still I am trying to convert this value to this result variable then you will notice we are getting the error that conversion is not possible. So this is the method that you can always use and you can always trust 
that it will only get the proper value and if the conversion is not possible then it will simply return the false value.